back. I am feeling better. Thank you for all of the sweet comments on me getting better. As you can tell, I'm still a little bit congested, but you guys, that sickness took me out for a couple of days. I have to tell you guys what happened the morning I came back from Las Vegas. I hadn't been feeling well kind of the whole time we were there, but it kind of got worse and worse as the days went on. So it was a bummer. I started to get sick. So the last night there, I had to catch an early morning flight. I had to fly home because I had some meetings at work that day that I couldn't miss. So we had planned in advance that I was going to fly home. That morning I woke up, you guys, I got about two hours worth of sleep because we got home super late and then I had to catch that flight. So I got up around like 4.30ish in the morning, but I woke up with a fever. And so I had a fever, I didn't feel super well, but I had to make my flight, right? And this was my first time I have ever flown out of the Las Vegas airport. And I didn't think it was some huge airport. I'm TSA pre-checked, so I was like, okay, I'll give myself about an hour before my flight leaves, which is usually plenty of time. So I left the hotel at about a little after five. My plane took off at 6.20, and the drive time to the airport was seven minutes. So I was like, oh, plenty of time I grabbed an uber mind you I'm not feeling well so I go in I go to give the TSA pre-check my ticket and they're like oh this isn't on here you're not TSA so for whatever reason my ticket wasn't synced up with my TSA pre-check number so I had to go back to the normal security line which was pretty long so I was kind of getting a little nervous I was like oh no like I'm gonna cut this close so I go through security and everything I had checked a bag at the curb so my bag was already checked and the Delta guy was like gate D30 something so I was like oh, okay you know I'm fine and he didn't tell me like this is not the right place so I go wait through security so I'm like okay great it's about 5 45 which is boarding time so I'm getting a little nervous after I go through security and I'm looking up on the signs and I see gates a b c and I'm like well where's d so I asked someone working there and I was like hey can you tell me where gates d are and the guy's like oh that's about a 10 minute walk down that way and then you gotta catch the tram my face you guys I was like oh my gosh I didn't realize how big that airport was it's huge you have to take trams places here in Salt Lake our airport's not that big I should have looked that up but I didn't so here I am imagine me fever first of all okay I start booking it through the airport I was like I cannot miss this plane like I have meetings I didn't feel well and I was just like I need to make this plane so I just start running you guys and I finally I get to where the tram is I catch the tram and I go I get to my gate at this point it's like 6 15 the plane is gone no one's even there <laughs> it's completely empty and I was just like, oh, even the flight attendant checking people and no one's at the counter. It's like a ghost town. And I was just like, oh, I was so gross. Just dripping sweat. I had a fever and I've never missed a flight before. So I didn't know even what to do really. I was like, okay, well, I need to find someone to talk to, to see what we do. Like, I don't know if they just give me on the next flight or if I have to pay for it or what. I see two gentlemen walking down and I told the one, I was like, I just missed my flight. And he's like, oh yeah, sure. I'll help you. Nicest guy. Thank you, Delta. He put me on a flight, but the second thing was there wasn't another flight for four hours <laughs> so, <laughs> Jared thinks this is funny and at the time I did not think it was funny <laughs> and when he told me four hours I was like oh my gosh four hours I was like that's what my meetings are and at this point I kind of knew you know what I'm super sick I'm not gonna be able to go into work anyways I was like are there any other airlines he's like no this that's the soonest I can get you out and I was like okay you know so super nice grateful he helped me he even put me in an exit row which is always nice for me because I am pretty tall so that was a little perk but as soon as he was done helping me you guys it was all just kind of catching up to me right I just heard I have to sit in the airport now for four hours so I was like thank you so much and I turn around you guys and I just started crying like tears just started like coming down <laughs> Oh, my cheeks and I couldn't control I was just like okay <laughs> and just tears and I, here I am in Las Vegas it's 6 a.m. in the morning I am like kind of delusional at this point with a fever and I just go over and I pick a chair and, and no one's around and I'm just tears just coming down my face and I called Jared I was like I have to call Jared <laughs> she called me and she was just bawling I could tell I was just like oh my gosh like what happened what happened I'm are you okay so congested right like I can't even like breathe really I thought someone died <laughs> I thought for sure someone died I was so scared for her I was just like Jared I missed my flight and I'm sitting here and I'm sick <laughs> 
Anyways, it was not too fun. But so I got home finally. I got rest. It's taken a few days, but I'm feeling much, much better. So anyways, long story short, you guys, always check the airport to see how big they are, where terminals are, and always give yourself plenty of time. I shouldn't have chanced it like that. Usually I'm pretty good. Especially so. with how much experience we both have traveling. Yeah, I know. It's kind of funny that she missed her. <laughs> I had never <laughs> but she wasn't feeling well that's that's and I wasn't thing. feeling well I was yeah. lax sleep not feeling well but on the positive side you guys amazing amazing trip I had so much fun with all the girls sweet mama Joe planned it all she took care of us it was amazing and we couldn't have had a better time so that was super fun sorry for the long story hopefully you guys got a little kick out of that because looking back on it now it was pretty funny <laughs> 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 the sobbing in the Las Vegas airport, you know? Hey, but luckily I had signed up for a United credit card. With it came two of their lounge passes. Yeah. And so I gave one to Brittany. I did get to go into the United lounge at least. <laughs> this is kind of funny too. Oh, what? The food? The food. <laughs> oh yeah. So I go into this United lounge. I've never been in an airport lounge like that before. So I go in and there's these nice chairs. It's huge. It's a big lounge. And I look over just right to my left. I see like this little snack bar with like orange juice and like muffins and bagels like cold food like that. I go over and I get myself like a little muffin and I have to start working because I still had work to do. So I was like, I might as well start working. I have nothing else to do for four hours. Four hours go by and I'm about ready to leave. And I look at the guy in front of me that's sitting there and he has like bacon and eggs and all this stuff. And I was like, where did he get that? And I was like, that looks delicious. <laughs> And I look just another like 10 feet that way and there's a huge buffet of all this hot food that looks so delicious. And I was so out of it you guys. I didn't even realize that was so close to me and I could have had all this amazing food that whole time. But literally all I got was a little cold muffin and my orange juice. So funny. So another tip if you're ever in those lounges take a glance around all around because there's a lot of good stuff in there. All right, you guys, so we have something super exciting tonight though. My little sister gets married in five days. <gasps> Woo! Oh my gosh, her and Nate are getting married. We are so excited, but we are in full wedding mode now, you guys. It is down to crunch time. We've got to get things done. So, as you guys know, there is one very important thing we have to still do. We're out in front of someone's house right now. I'll give you one guess. She's little, she's cute, she's fun. Everyone loves her. You guys, we are going dress shopping part two with Glenna. There may be a part two to this because we still gotta find my mom a dress. So it's your lucky day. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> We're not done. Look oh. who's back from London. Hello. Hi. You mean I'm in the front? I'm feeling really important. <gasps> She's back. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. We All right. are excited. Are it we? is time. We're in crunch time. We're in full wedding mode right now. Full wedding mode. Mom, just like last time, what are we going to do first? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what did we do first before we went shopping last time? We said hello. <laughs> Did we go eat something? Yes, we oh! did. <laughs> I was a little nervous being on the camera, you guys. So we're gonna go oh, eat. Yay! <laughs> you guys, Jared is setting my mom up with a YouTube account right now so that she can respond to you guys. My mom are sitting next to each other. Yes. And also notice you guys, what's in front of me. Sure, nope. Right, here. right there. There's a little there's a little baseball game going on behind him. Oh, not the two <laughs> lovely Excuse ladies. Us. I think your seat's over there. Yeah, I'm listening. Just one second. I'm listening. Yep. So Brittany is reading some of the comments right now that you guys left about what Glenna should do while she was in London. Glenna, have a great trip. Enjoy your tea with the queen. <laughs> I did have tea, but the queen couldn't make it that day. <laughs> so, she's next time. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, guys, we just finished dinner. How was Delicious. it, you guys? It was amazing. It was pretty Although amazing. she recommended the salmon and it was dry. Yeah, my salmon was dry. It was still pretty still good though. The restaurant was really fancy and cute though. Yeah, it was That's cute. Crazy. I'm trying not to cut off Jared's head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mom. I'm so excited. There's gotta be a dress in here. Mm -hmm. Hoping we find the dress. Right, mom? We've got to, we've got to. It's crunch time. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Everybody's <laughs> yeah, finding me a little cologne to go with this. Perfume. Perfume. Oh, perfume. <laughs> I hope it's not cold. <laughs> Brittany's uh, learned her lesson on spring yeah, perfume. Yeah, just did one spray. Oh, I like it. Yeah, spray me. <laughs> we wanted to smell good too when we were shopping. <laughs> my mom was just telling me, my grandma. This was her favorite perfume. Chanel okay. number five. Always, always, always wore it. And they still have it. And they still have it. Should we spray it on for grandma? I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. We're gonna smell like our grandma Willa. I might even have to buy some of this sometime. You should. I gotta find the dress first though. <laughs> Unless we want to hit up the shoes. Not yet. <laughs> we need the dress first. Growing up, I was terrified of escalators. You yeah, remember that? Right. Oh my gosh. I can't they scared that. me so bad. They have really cute stuff here. This is cute, right, guys. Glenna? Yeah. <laughs> what are the chances? We're back to a whole rack of yellow dresses. Oh my gosh. It's actually pretty cute. <laughs> no, this actually is really cute. Look at this it cute flower cute. one. That is so cute. The first rack of dresses, all yellow. <laughs> yeah. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, go watch our first shopping vlog. Where That's right. And you dare. will You're find out what we're you. talking about. Is that enough razzle dazzle for you? Maybe. <laughs> she thinks she's so funny. You guys, look how cute these are. We've never seen these. You guys, it's like cute? this fun wrap. I really love this one. You know what? You could even do this with that gold wrap. All right, guys. Glenna's gonna start trying to stop off. Wish me good luck. <laughs> Mom, Isn't that pretty? you look so pretty. Do you see how sparkly this is? And then she found that the cute shawl. Oh, yeah, this shawl is really cute. Guys, Glenna is our little princess. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I don't know if you should wear that or not because you're gonna make Michelle look bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Glenna, you're just looking a little too fabulous. <laughs> I, did, I did like how you just looked at yourself right there. Yeah, she just checked herself out you for like sure. This for real, you <laughs> Wait, what did she do, Karen? She's like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it's long and sparkly. <laughs> I had to see how the design went. <laughs> All right, guys, we found Glenna a dress. Yay. So, you guys, we didn't show her in it because we want it to be a surprise on the wedding day, right, Mom? That's right. We will surprise you. You guys, I found my bridesmaid dress as well, which is kind of fun. It's so. gorgeous. We'll surprise you with that, too. So, you guys, if you want to see what Glenna's dress looks like, you then you got to keep your eye out for our... <laughs> She's hiding it. <laughs> She's hiding it. It's you top tune secret. In next time. Okay. To the wedding. So that'll be our special wedding day vlog for Michelle. And I'm so lucky I got to go shopping oh. with my pretty. She always finds the right thing, the perfect thing. It looks amazing. It's so Glenna, and we can't wait to show you guys. I'll give you one clue, and I know you're going to be sad, but it's not yellow. <laughs> but I still think you'll like it. <laughs> So if you guys can tell, they're turning off all the lights over here. Mom, why is it a habit? <laughs> we always come to stores so late at the last minute. I know it. Because we're having too much fun. We end up getting kicked out, you guys. So what you need to do, you guys, is go shopping with Brittany. Oh, yeah. Okay? You'll always find the right thing. She's an expert oh. at everything. Not just cooking, but shopping, you name it, Brittany is it. Well, I learned from this lady right here, you guys. We're gonna do another vlog with my mom with her recap trip to London. It was awesome, you guys. And she has Almost. some fun pictures she's gonna share, too. Now it's wedding time. We can't think of anything else. Yes. 
till the wedding's over. Just for our beautiful bride, Shell, you guys, we cannot wait to show you her wedding. Her wedding dress is ah uh, incredible. Yeah, you're gonna love it. So, so pretty. So you guys, lots of fun. Thanks for coming along with us today. Another episode of Brittany and Glenna's shopping <laughs> trip. And it's it was so successful fun. today, which is awesome. We loved it. Thanks so for coming. Fun. I think it's way cool that you let me tag along with you guys. Well, we didn't have a choice, Jared, but... <laughs> All right, you guys, front door service. Doesn't get much better than that. Try First mom. class when you go with Brittany and Jared. <laughs> okay, so remember that. <laughs> David took me to dinner, and I got to go dress shopping. Found the dress, which we're gonna yes, show you later. It's beautiful. So it was an awesome night, and I just have to thank all of you guys for all the sweet comments. I have read a few of your sweet replies, and they touched my heart. And you guys are so nice and awesome, so thank you. And now I can start replying to you. I'm really excited. So give her some love. <laughs> give me some love, you guys. I need it. Okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we love Glenna. It was so All fun right. being with her again. And remember, I'm going to show you my dress. Ooh, a little so sneak keep, peek there. <laughs> keep that hidden, Mom. It's only a sneak peek. That's <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Well, so love you. see you on... Thursday. Yes, we'll see you at the wedding. At the wedding. Oh Thursday. my gosh, look what cute Jared's oh, no. doing. Oh my gosh. He found an umbrella. Are you kidding? Guys, you... it's rainy. Oh my gosh, cute Jared. <laughs> oh, it's windy though. I got it, Glenn. It's okay. <laughs> what did I tell you guys? First class. <laughs> see you later. Love you. Love you. Oh. You guys, I'm the luckiest to have Jared. Look how cute he is with my mom. So cute. He treats all the ladies in his life like queens. Ha has since the first day I started dating him. And I know he did the same for his mom all growing up, so it's so sweet. Love you. You guys, my cute mom. She always waits for us to leave before she leaves. <laughs> You stay over that way, Brittany. I'll stay here. Just do me. Take off. <laughs> Jerry, what do I go to on this? <gasps> that guy right here. <laughs> yeah, she just checked herself out you for like sure. This for real, <laughs> Take that off, her.